hi. We're just walking uh, the dog, Shanna. Here she is. And I just wanted to talk about um, how I shaved my head for the water pollution that every single person, virtually every single person on this planet is participating in right now. Except for those who can't afford to use shampoo. Um, for sure I say shampoo. Because we use shampoo, shampoo to attract women, men, um, to get better job positions and basically sell ourselves out as prostitutes to the system. And I participated within that. I had really great long hair, and when I was in high school, middle school, I think even elementary school, I would sh sh I would use shampoo and conditioner um, pretty much every single day. Not every other day or every three days. And one thing that people don't know or simply um, don't bother to consider common sense is that everything on this planet needs to be recycled everything needs to be reused everything from the plants to the trees everything that was here before all of our new inventions and materials use of, of materials all of it has always been naturally Shanna. been recycled and reused everything you see around here it's reused in a few years, hundred years, it, the whole landscape will change. All this earth under, underneath us is the product of all the all the life that's been here before. Everything is alive. All the dirt is alive. There's even within the little piece. There's millions of particles and bacteria and organisms that we don't even know that are alive and moving and competing with each other and you know forming the processes of the whole sphere, biosphere. <laughs> so, so we don't consider this common sense point within our own living application, how everything we use right now has to return to the earth somehow, in a way that adds to the system more than it was before, because if you consider this dirt at one point, all this dirt was once, once trees, so when they die, they leave something before to better enrich the earth. They leave something behind, something that's a legacy, if you can say. It's worthwhile. A secret legacy. Well, it's only a secret because we don't bother to consider the common sense. That everything here was before we were here. And we need to leave something back just like everything else does has been doing for a long time and so sh using your sh shampoo you're basically destroying the whole entire life of this earth none of the materials in that shampoo that you're using is biodegradable it will take thousands or maybe even some of them will never degrade ever it's just basically like a nuclear power plant some of its waste will take like millions of years to degrade and maybe some of it will never degrade and it slowly surely is accumulating to a point where all the water fresh water will be polluted and of course we may try to delay it by polluting the oceans etc killing all other forms of life before we finally die I mean how cowardly is that you're basically murdering penguins so that you can your species can survive. You're murdering all of this just so that you can survive. These things which have dedicated their lives to add something to this earth, to dedicate something to leave something behind worthwhile. They'll all die and return to the earth, becoming food for others. Well we are just trying to I mean look at how we die, how we 
you know, we keep people in boxes and put them in the earth, you know, delaying the inevitable of them degrading back to the earth. We, we burn humans. We burn all those nutrients and vitamins and food that could be fed to other organisms and just put them into dust and just throw them there. In the air, I mean, all there is so much rich vitamins, nutrients, and life that w came from that body. And I keep going on and on about even the food we eat and all this, how we're even our poop is is destroying the earth too if, if we're eating junk food. But <laughs> well, for me, I've sh I shaved my head a few months. I was in. It was like six months ago. Right now it's December. It was before July. Um, but I shaved my head and I've stopped using shampoo since. Even though my hair is going back, I've stopped using all unnecessary um, products, which I do not need to use. So I still use a bar of soap, which is a good quality. I think that, that has a bit biodegradable material like olive oil. Any oil is basically what shampoo is. You could just use possibly olive oil or other substances to clean your hair if you really wanted to. Uh, my head, I don't use any substances. I wet it sometimes, but that's it. And But it's more than just like one person said, it's about all heads. So that's why I'm inviting you and everyone else for December, this holiday season. The season's supposed to be we hope for a new world, world peace, bring in the new year, and I'm going to shave my head for that, for actual world peace, which the only world peace possible is with world equality, real change. And I would do this, I plan on doing this every year for the rest of my life. Christmas season, New Year's season, supposed to be a season where we usher in, you know, <laughs> world peace. I mean, right now, this is everything we do right now during the season is about world peace. We consume more, we throw away more, we shit more, <laughs> we probably use more shampoo and other chemicals and conditioners because we go to more parties. We, all these things add up, and this is actually perhaps the worst time during the year for for a positive impact. I mean mo it's, it's, the, it's the most negative time of the year. The amount of all those things I've just listed. Shanna, come on. So, join in the yearly shave and stand up to the bullshit and tell people why you're shaving your head. Support an equal money system. Become practical in your daily living. not over yet. Thanks.